Hi guys, so uh, yeah, these are typical little jobs I get brought into the workshop. Uh, these are old Android TV boxes, and uh, the guy who brought them in, um, he says this one, I think it's this one, one of them has like a wobbly connection, he thinks it's just a bad connection. Right, it's that one I think, I'm kind of waggling around, yeah. I think the other one he just said it was dead actually. Uh, so, I mean, he's, he's, he says these are worth about, like, t they cost a lot, a bit over 20 euros, you know, 20 something, just over 20 euros. They're not valuable, but he asked me if I could have a look at them. Uh, so the one with the, the bad connection on the power, I can probably fix that and just charge him a tenny, you know, just off and off with him. Um, I suspect most likely he probably hasn't got any, he needs them for customers I would think, probably. So the first thing we need to do is just figure out how to get into these things, and I don't think there's like any kind of like screws or anything, they're just kind of like clipped together. Okay, let me have a go get inside these. Yeah, so I've got one, but I think he's only taken this off before, because it looks like uh, one of the plastic clips is broken, but... Basically, it's like a little, little indent here. You see, uh, uh, I think we get into here. Yeah, this, this, this that opens up. So, yeah, all right, it's coming off, coming off quite easily now, actually. So that was obviously the trick with that, yeah. So we've got little, uh, little Android boards. Mm, bit of plastic off it. <coughs> so have a quick look. So, yeah, uh, I'll zoom down on them. So with these sort of things, um, I mean, this is like on graphics cards and motherboards, you know, you've got book regulators, there's four of them here, yeah? So these will generate four different voltage rails, each one's got its own controller, it's coiled some input and output capacitors, yeah? Um, generally, because these things are so low cost, the only things that are really worth repairing on these is like broken, you know, where the power comes in. Uh, and sometimes just one of these book regulators, if you're very cheap, you know, it might be just worth fixing just by changing the the, the controller. Some, if it's anything else, it really isn't worth uh, looking at, yeah. Uh, this one I've noticed, by the way, this seems like something's got in here. Can you see? Well, I, can, I can see it on the back here as well, yeah. It's like something happened here. Well, this has got very hot. It's kind of melted, I don't know. This one's nice and clean, yeah. <coughs> so we'll, <coughs> sorry. So we'll uh, connect up the power supply and let's have a look to see if the power supply is actually working and what voltage coming out. Now let's try and figure out which is the one with the dodgy connector. And I believe the other one is actually uh, dead. So uh, the power supply is in. Just get the uh, voltmeter. And I'll just zoom that out to touch as well. Okay, so it's on. Um, just check it. Probably a five volt supply they normally are with these things. Yes, there's five volt supply there. So um, <coughs> we could just try them. I think there's a little LED here that will probably light up if it's got a good connection. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's dead right. What's it is with this one? It's like a a bad connection there. Yes, yeah, I'm touching it. So that's that. What's this one doing here? This one does nothing. Yeah. So. I mean, I may end up taking the connector off this one and use it to fix this one. Well, it might just be a bad soldered joint. So, this is powered up. Yeah, in fact, it's on blue, it's on, yeah. So, we can have a look at, on this one just to see what uh, voltages we actually have in it. Um, so, yeah. So, these are the book regulators. 1.1, 1 .1, yeah. It's like a V core type thing. This one doesn't seem to have any voltage on it. That's strange. It's working. 1.06. Uh, this one. 3.3. And this one. 1.5. So 1.5, 3.3, 1.07, and 1.08. Okay. So those, ah, those two might be working together. It's the same voltage rail. Okay. Let's try the other one. Let's see what this one's doing. So, no, slipped off. Nothing, 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 
nothing. So this we have a problem with the power coming in. Okay, All right, let's, uh, let's get these little circuit boards out. Let's have a look at what we've got here. So this is the one that seems to be working. And um, yeah, I don't think you can see it. Maybe I'll zoom down a little bit further. You might be able to see what's going on with this one. Okay. So yeah, I think you can see the actual socket itself is moving on the board. Yeah. I'll just switch it off so I'm well, waggling this around. I don't see any problem with the solder joints here. Let's get the microscope and have a quick look. Okay, so I've just switched the power off while waggling this around. But basically, if I move this, if you look underneath, these solder joints seem to be solid. Yeah, nothing's happening there. But if we turn it over, you see the thing's loose. I think what's happened here is that probably it's broken just there where it goes into the board. Yeah, that, that's moving, yeah. On the other side. Yeah, I think that I think this one's attached and this this one's moving. So probably just a bit of focus on this and sold it from this side. We'll probably have this one working. And then we can have a look at the other one. Right, so um, this is definitely loose on the back of here, yeah. Um, so just to get a solder, I've got a little bit of flux in it. That'll help. A bit of flux on the back of here. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, just see if we can uh, solder this with a nice thick BC3 tip. Just get plenty of heat into it. Uh, I'm going to whip down the microscope, it's easier for me. Right, let's, have a look, let's see if I can get this to solder. Well, certainly a blob of solder gone on, but I'm not sure if it's actually gone on to the PCB. Yeah, try that. Hmm. That still doesn't seem very rigid. I mean, I could possibly find the connector, but I don't think I've actually got any connector of this particular size, to be quite honest. Okay, let's try the one at the side as well. If not, I'll probably end up just taking this off, yeah, and then we can have a look to see what the the actual problem is with this. Um, bit of flux on this one. Also, I can only see two uh, pins here. There's actually three pins on the other side, so there's obviously another pin somewhere. Okay. Right, let's have a look to see if that's actually, does feel a lot more rigid now. Let's see if that's actually got it working or not. So here's our little connector. And that feels a lot more solid now. Uh, so let's see if this is actually working. Yeah, I'll just uh, set it so you can see the connector on the LED. Ah, there we go. So let's give it a try. So power's on, blue lights on. No, we've still got a problem with this. Yeah. Okay, I'll have to, I'm going to take this connector off and let's have a look to see what the actual problem with this is. A, a silly little thing. I'm pretty sure we can fix this. Yeah. Okay, let's take this thing off the board and let's have a look. So I'm going to do this with the the, the through hole desoldering vacuum tool. Yeah, it's probably the easiest way to get it off. Um, so I've just put a bit of flux on it, I'm just going to add some uh, leaded solder to this first uh, to help uh, reduce the uh, melting point, it makes it easier to desolder basically. Uh, there we go. I'm just going to clean the excess flux off here because if you get this flux down the uh, desoldering tool it's more, more likely to clog up, yeah, so I'll just uh, clean a little bit of that off and then we'll try and, uh, try and remove this. Okay, so... Uh, Got the uh, paintbrush, little uh, dab of uh, ISO. Let me show you the moment. Okay. 
I mean, there will still be some folks mixed up with the eye sound, no doubt, on there. Now let's see if we can actually... That sounds okay. Let's see if we can actually uh, desolder it. These tools make us a much easier job. What one of the best things I bought this year, it really, really was. It, it just makes a lot of jobs much easier. Okay, I might need a bit of hot air just to completely get this off here, but let's see if it's actually. Uh, yeah, it's quite loose now that is. So I think you can possibly see a couple of the legs are actually free. Yeah, so I can probably. Just kind of like pull this out now, just by a bit of warmth on it. Or maybe just get a edge of a finger on this one. Yeah, that's coming. That's coming and the focus is going, yeah. <laughs> that's coming and the focus is going. There you go. Uh, let's try for this one. Something very loose on this. I, I, I don't know what, what exactly it is, but something isn't right with it for sure. Well, the thing's waggling back and forwards now. Okay. It's out. Right, so... I don't think there's any problem here where it's going to the board. I think it's a broken track. I think it's something with this damn thing. It's all right. I don't know. Somehow not making a connection. Let's get the uh, power supply and let's uh, stick this in here. Let's have a look to see... If we've got a, a, a good uh, connection now, we get the meter in there, but yeah, here we go. Uh, let's have a look. One point six volts. So a very strange reading off that. I'm at a loss to explain why I'm actually seeing 1.6 volts there, yeah. That doesn't seem uh, very sensible. Hmm. How can that be reading 1.6 volts? <laughs> why is the power supply reading 1.6 volts? Ah, one of the switches isn't on. <laughs> Obviously a bit of charge in the capacitors, yeah. Okay. 5.28 much more sensible <laughs> these things happen guys these things happen yeah I'm just flexing this a little bit I'm kind of like flexing the thing a little bit and it's drop the voltage is changing yeah it's all flexing this thing hmm hmm It's hard to understand what's failed in this. The only thing I can think of is that there's like a kind of like a little rivet in the back of this here. Yeah. And maybe that's not making a connection. Let's see if we can see it under the microscope again. Well, I can, I can see that the solder, when I tried to solder this to the board, didn't really go where I wanted it to go. It just went onto the pin and nowhere else. Yeah. So uh, we can just uh, carefully just deal with that. I see it all the way down the pin now, yeah. Um, this one at the back. Again, I'm going to just try and clean this up with a bit of braid. Let's have a look to see what's actually going on here. So it doesn't look quite right to me. Let's have a look. Um, that's cleaned the most of it off. But it's probably a bit warm now. Um, yeah, I think it might be, you know, where, where this rivet is here that I'm not getting a proper connection there. So I think we'll um, just find the needle nose pliers, yeah, because they're a bit, a bit less uh, temple, <laughs> less sensitive to heat than my fingers, yeah. Unless you can just get a, a good connection here. So there we go. Again, I'm going to use the microscope, it's easier for me. I 
obviously don't want too much heat otherwise I'll melt the plastic okay let's see if that's uh, better I can't see anything else that can really be causing a problem with this it looks like the middle pin down here uh, is the one that actually goes to like the metal thing inside there possibly the other one acts as like a switch open or closed you know so you kind of detect if the power's in circle I'm sure that won't be used on this okay let's have a look it, it, again I'll get it uh, on the desktop camera so that seems a lot more rigid in here now I can't waggle this around anymore uh, let's have a look what voltage we've just seen across this and that yeah so 5.27 it doesn't seem as sensitive as it was before I mean I may just be losing the connection on the meter you know I'm making the connection up to here there okay I'm gonna put this back on the board and let's see if that's actually solved the problem that we had with it that's soldered back on then and um, it actually looks completely rigid now yeah, as I'm trying to waggle it around that seems to be solid now so um, we can once again just connect our power supply blue lights on yeah waggle it around now and it's fine yeah so that, that's a good connection on that one let's have a look at the other one that's got no voltages I mean it's, I've got no output on any of these book regulators I suspect there's no power coming in on it now let's have a look see if we can figure that one out okay but this one i'm sure now it, it, it's fine yeah let's get the other one so these are just held in uh, a couple of uh, screws nothing complicated with these things apart from i can't find out where i've just put the screwdriver yeah <laughs> that's a bit of added complication myself yeah okay so we'll take us out of here let's see uh, what we can do with this one I mean, I think you only expect me to fix one of these, yeah, so the fact that I've fixed them both, you'll probably be rather pleased with that, yeah. Hmm, oh, nice. what's holding you in here now? I mean, the other one came out quite easily. I'm a bit, I don't know if this has got hot and glued itself in place, it doesn't want to come out of here easily. Yeah. There's nothing else holding it in place, I mean, let me see what I can do with it. Okay, well I got it out, but I'm starting to think that somebody's poured glue into this, yeah? Because you see you can sort of see it everywhere, yeah? I think somebody's, <laughs> for whatever reason, has poured glue inside it. It's all over the place. Yeah? I don't think it's just, it, 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 it'd melt the whole case, it wouldn't just melt bits like that. Somebody's poured glue into it, that's my best uh, guess with this one. So, first of all then, let's connect our power supply and see if we've got 5 volts coming in here at all. Or even if does it work now, yeah? No, it doesn't work now. Have we got uh, 5 volts on this now? Let's have a look. So we're from a ground somewhere. This is a ground. No. Unless that isn't ground, but I thought it would be ground. Nothing there. Um, power supply. Five volts. Eh? I'll just see it there. Five volts. We've got a short. Well, short on the input, stopping you know, effectively shutting the power supply down. So, like, uh, so no, it's really an open circuit, isn't it? Short, no. yeah, those two pins are connected together. That's the ground, if you like. I wonder if it's the same problem, but this is completely open circuit. I think with this again, I'm going to have to take this off the board. Now let's have a look to see 
uh, what's going on with this one so um, a bit of flux on here I mean, we're, all, all, we're already, you know, I mean, fixed the water in about 15 minutes, I guess. Uh, so, we, if we spend the same time on this one and we can fix it, that's fine. It's profitable, yeah? I mean, you know, if, if it comes to 20 euros for like uh, half an hour's work, you know, I mean, that's, to me, that's not bad. Um, okay, so let's go with this one. I'll do the same as I did with the other one, just take a bit of the uh, excess flux off here because if it goes up inside the vacuum tool, uh, they tend to clog up. Where's my uh, paintbrush? Okay, here we go. Splashed a bit. Should do it. Got rid of the excess anyway. Um, I mean, you want a bit of flux on, so that'll be sold, but not too much. What? Okay, I'll just uh, clear this. I mean, when you've been desoldering with flux as well, it's best to just uh, run the uh, cleaning tool through it when you're finished. Yeah. That's it. Look after it and it'll look after you. Okay, so. Uh, yeah. This is quite tight on here. It's not like waggling like the other. Let's see if we just get it off the board and then. Let's have a see why we've got no five volts. I'm, I'm assuming there's no connection. Same sort of thing. Warm it up, waggle it around a little bit. It's coming. You can see it moving away from the board, yeah? Go for the other end, try and push it the other way, that's it coming all right so uh, without burning my fingers uh, <laughs> without burning my fingers I think it's a side one it's the one that's just holding it in place like oh. damn it broke it broke I don't think it broke to the point where I can't use it but <laughs> Okay, maybe the fingers were a better idea. <laughs> yeah. uh. I think I might have to use a bit of hot air on this one actually. Um, it doesn't want to easily uh, come off there. Okay, let's get the hot air. Okay, let's try this technique instead. So just... It's coming. Well, the thing's waggling around. No, this. Okay. Oh, amazing! It actually came out with complete. I thought it had actually pulled the legs out from the plastic, but no, it did actually come out in one piece. Uh, the glue wasn't off, but this is definitely glue. I mean, somebody's put glue in it. Why they've done that, I really don't know. Can't quite figure it out, but for sure that's what's happened. Putting this our little connector here. That's uh, a bit warm still. Let's just clean the. Uh, Crap off this one. I think it's just glue. Somebody's made this job difficult. Oh, it's a bit clean, you know. Okay, 
Uh, I think what I'll do with this now, I'm going to do the same thing with the, with the other one, with this one, which is to get some solder on the the rear end of it, yeah, where the actual, uh, where this little rivet thing is. And then see, I'll probably just be able to prop it up like that. See if it actually works, yeah. Does it just get into the, yeah. Hopefully that will stay still, right. So, yeah, once again, guys. Fox on here, and uh, let's see if we can actually solder it. Huh. <laughs> it's not easy on that metal thing. I'm, I'm just using that to protect the desk from the hot air. Uh, Twice on your because I, I did this okay before with the other one on the actual uh, desk. Maybe a little bit more friction between the surface and the item. Yeah. Have a go. Okay. Same thing. Blob of solder. Now, let's have a look. Uh, so you can see the top bit of it's broke off, but it's still kind of like functional, yeah? And I think we can get away with that. Um, one power supply plug into it. Yeah, plug's on okay. Still quite warm. Uh, let's get the meter, let's have a look to see what we've got. We've got 5 volts coming out of this now. From the end to one of the other two terminals, yeah. And we have 5 volts on this pin. Yeah, the other pin must be connected to each, you know, this one at the side must just connect to that once it's in the PCB. It's, it's these two that have actually got the five volts, yeah? So that's got some power on it now. So what I'm gonna have to do now is try and clean the glue off this so I can get this, this back into the board, yeah? Um, was, it's, it's not clear, I've just, I've just tried to look through it. Um, I think I'm gonna have to scrape away the glue on this side and then try and clean the holes out. Ah, oh, what can we use to that, do that with? Really? Perhaps just the plastic spudger actually might be as good as any. This stuff's horrible. Well, I can see two of the holes there. I think you can see now where two of the holes are. Um, something you may find it. My old tweezers, not the new ones, yeah. That's through. That's through. I can only assume that this had the same sort of problem and somebody thought putting glue in it would actually fix it. And maybe temporarily it did, yeah. But it appears the problem was where that rivet comes to the back of the back of the connector. That's what fixed the other one. Well let's go back on the board. Not easily. Right, I'm just spending minutes to just clearing more of the glue out of this. Okay, so that's uh, soldered back in place. You can see it's uh, broken here, but I don't think that's going to be a problem. Once it's put back together, you probably would hardly even notice that. Yeah. Um, anyway, these are cheap items, um, so I think just to have it working will be quite happy. So let's see if we've actually now got any power. Yeah, so the red light's on and it's gone blue. Okay, so I think we can say both of these are actually repaired. Um, I shall charge the guy 20 euros, that's 10 euros each, and he'll be happy because it's half the price of him buying new ones. He's no doubt got customers waiting for these anyway. And yeah, job done. Okay, guys, a uh, nice short video for once, but I think that just hopefully shows you know the value of doing this sort of work on something you think perhaps isn't really worth repairing. If the customer wants to pay a little bit, yeah, well, it was definitely worth it. Okay, guys, see you soon now. Ciao for now.